Great. Welcome to Mindfulness Mondays, everyone. My name is Danielle Paolo. Krista will return next week on November 4th for our next Mindfulness Monday session. And I know she's very excited to see everyone again. The Parkinson's Foundation hosts weekly education and wellness programs through our PD Health at Home virtual programming. Join us for Mindfulness Mondays, Wellness Wednesdays, and Fitness Fridays. Our next Wellness Wednesday will be hosted live this Wednesday, October 30th, and we will talk about gene and cell-based therapies for Parkinson's. While still in the developmental stage, genetic and cell-based therapies hold some promise for people with Parkinson's disease. This week's webinar will review the basics of gene and cell-based therapies, and we'll talk about what these therapies may or may not accomplish for the person with Parkinson's, as well as what to expect in terms of the treatment process. So learn more at parkinson.org slash pdhelp. Um, and I also wanted to invite everyone to a very special program series we're offering in November, Care Partner Summit, designed specifically for those supporting someone with Parkinson's. Whether you're new to the role or have been caring for a while, these webinars will offer valuable strategies for managing Parkinson's, maintaining strong relationships, and navigating daily challenges with confidence. Learn more at parkinson.org slash summit. And now I'm very excited to invite and welcome back today's mindfulness presenter, Dr. Danielle Carnes. Dr. Carnes, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for inviting me back. It's always a pleasure to work with you all. Um, so I'm gonna share my screen here in a moment. There we go. All right. So today's topic is going to be management of negative thinking through mindfulness. And I want to initially just thank everyone for taking this time for yourself. It's through exercises like this that we really uh, begin to gain a better appreciation of ourselves our situations, and how we manage uh, life's challenges. For today's practice, as we get started, I invite you all to turn on calming music, whatever that might be for you. Could be the sounds of nature or white noise if you want. Uh, anything that you feel might be helpful that really incites a sense of tranquility. I'll give you all a few moments to uh, decide whether or not that is uh, going to be a part of your practice today and make sure it's at a nice low volume. If your preference is to solely focus on the sound of my voice, that is also welcomed. I'll give you about 30 or so seconds now to uh, get this situated before we begin. As we begin the practice today, uh, it's very important to ensure that your space is meeting your needs in this moment. As we get started, please begin to find a comfortable seat. This could be seated upright in a chair or a lounge or lying flat in a comfortable position. Ensure you have any props near you that can optimize your level of comfort. Remembering to take the time to make this practice your practice. As you become comfortable, I invite you all to relax and close your eyes 
And I'd like for you all to begin to direct your focus onto your breath. First, noticing the feeling of the air moving into and out of your body. Noticing the ups and downs of your abdomen and the ups and downs of your chest. Acknowledge the expansion you feel in your ribs as you inhale and how things slowly move back into place with each exhale. Take this time to embody your unique and personal rhythm, remembering that throughout this practice, we will return to our breath in moments where we may feel unsteady or in moments where we feel we need grounding. With the next breath in, I'd like for you to slowly inhale, holding at the top for a count of four. And then slowly exhaling at the bottom. Keep practicing this for several cycles until you feel solidly and completely invested in this practice today. As you work through several cycles of breath, I want you to think of any negative thoughts that have passed through your mind over the last few hours, days, or weeks. Think about any unnecessary self-criticism associated negative emotions like sadness or worry, or perhaps even avoidant behaviors. While it is natural to experience negative thoughts, when our mind is stuck in the past, or focused on the future, we are not being mindful of the things we can control now. When these thoughts become overwhelming, our autonomic nervous system becomes unbalanced Managing physical symptoms can become ever more challenging. Through this practice, we will learn to anchor ourselves, to hold ourselves steady, and allow any negative thoughts to pass by. With the next round of breath, I would like for each one of you to place your hand on your stomach, continuing to notice the rise and fall, continuing to notice the unique rhythm of your breath as we move through this exercise. At the top of the next breath, 
Begin to think of those challenging thoughts. For some of you, this may be reflecting on a decision that was made in the past that had an unwanted consequence. For some, it may be a fear of what the future may look like or could even be tied to unresolved grief. I'd like for you to focus on identifying this thought or thoughts over the next few rounds of breath. As you identify these thoughts, hold on to them briefly. Now I'd like for you to imagine that you are on a ship floating in the ocean as a storm created by these negative thoughts begins to brew. As you look ahead, away from the storm, you see a dream destination. Perhaps it's just a tropical island. Perhaps it's a place reminiscent of a vacation that you took. Whatever it is, I want you to really visualize that now. Imagine in this place, there are your loved ones, pets. Feel the warmth of support and allow this destination to give you a sense of calmness. As you turn in the other direction, facing the storm of negative thoughts, envision with each additional thought being pulled further and further from that dream destination. Imagine the waters surrounding you becoming ever more tumultuous with each thought. As we imagine this, notice how your breath feels. With your hand on your abdomen, breathe in, hold briefly at the top, and slowly exhale.
With each exhale, I now want you all to envision the release of an anchor from your ship. With each breath in, acknowledge these negative thoughts that want to pull you away. And with each exhale, envision the anchor providing more and more support. With the following breaths in, I want you to acknowledge these recurring negative thoughts as water passing by your ship with the anchor holding you in place, preventing you from going further from your desired destination. Take several rounds of breath here at your own pace. Our bodies, like the boat, also have anchors that can help us focus. The use of our belly, our nose, our mouth, and our chest, and our lungs all work together to help ground us. Continue to breathe in deeply. With each slow exhale, feeling your ribs fall into place. With each inhale, envision your lungs expanding and pressing the negative thoughts away. And with each exhale, letting them pass fully. With each round of breath that you've taken, you've been improving your focus and regaining better control of your autonomic nervous system. The system that regulates our respiration rate, our heart rate, and even our body temperature. By using our breath as an anchor, we allow the challenging thoughts, those negative thoughts we briefly held on to, to come into view and to pass us by without taking us away from our goals or desires. As you breathe, if your mind happens to wander, always know you can bring it back to your anchor, your breath.
I'd like for you all to envision that as you become fully anchored, you begin to move closer and closer to your desired destination. Moving closer and closer to your goals. Over the next few moments, continue to practice grounding yourself, anchoring yourself by slowly inhaling, holding at the top, and exhaling, letting what can be a natural negative thought, enter your mind and slowly pass you by. I'd like for you all, with the next cycle of breath, to begin to slowly wiggle any parts of your body, inviting movement back into your space. movement will allow us to bring awareness from the guided imagery world that we've been in today to the comfortable spaces that we established at the beginning of our practice. Allow the movements to become a little bigger. Perhaps move your shoulders or stretch as we bring our awareness into the rooms that we're currently seated in. When you're ready, open your eyes. The last part of this practice will be extending gratitude to yourselves for taking the time out of what can be hectic uh, days to partake in this practice. Thank you.